Hello and welcome to this video demonstration. My name is Amanda. I'm from the University of North Texas COI Information Research and Analysis Lab. Today I'll be demonstrating the R syntax provided by Crahe, Turner, Nyman, Zintek, and Henson in our 2012 Frontiers article. You can download this article from the Frontiers webpage. It is open source and free for everyone. This R syntax will uh, provide beta weights, structure coefficients, commonality coefficients, and will conduct an all possible subsets regression. So to get started, we'll scroll down to page 12, which is where our R code starts. So you can see to begin, we download a couple of packages, and then on the next page, the R syntax starts. So what I would normally do with these videos is copy directly from the article into R itself, but here we have some typesetting issues so that doesn't work as well as I would like. So to get around that, I've uploaded syntax files to my web page. They are available for download directly from there. So if you go to sites.google.com slash site slash Amanda Crahe slash syntax, you'll see several syntax files associated with this paper. So right now we'll go ahead and download the R syntax and I'll save that to my desktop. You can save to a working directory if you wish. Once that's downloaded, I'll go ahead and close this web page and open R to get started. Once R is loaded, we'll go to File, Open Script, and then open the script file that we just downloaded. So before doing anything in R, we always have to make sure that we have the necessary packages installed. So here we need four different packages. So to, to download these, we'll go to Packages, Install Packages. And then this CRAN mirror pops up, which is basically asking for a download location. So choose the site that's closest to you. For me, it's USA Texas 1 and click OK. And then we're provided with an alphabetical list of all available packages. The first package that we need is Corp Core, so we'll scroll down and find that. Go ahead and select it, and then hold down the Control key so that we can select more than one at the same time. The next one that we need is the Leaps package, so we'll scroll down and find that. still holding control, we'll scroll down and find Mass, which is our third package. And then scroll all the way to the bottom and choose Y Hat as the fourth package. And click OK and you'll see R start to download these four. Once these packages are installed, we can start with the syntax that we downloaded a minute ago. So for step one, we'll load two libraries that we just downloaded. Um, one is Mass, the other is Corp Core. And then we're going to, with the rest of the code, create a data set based on a correlation matrix. So what we're doing here in this article is reproducing the suppression example provided by Azen and Budescu in their article. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of this step one code and right click, run, line, or selection. As long as we don't get any error messages, we know that we're good. And step two, we will produce beta weights, structure coefficients, and commonality coefficients. So the first thing that we need to do is load the Y hat library. And then these next two lines of code will conduct a regression with our three predictor variables, um, IV1, 2, and 3, on our dependent variable, which here is DV. And then we have the out command. And here we'll also get beta weights, this line gives structure coefficients, and then of course this line provides commonality data. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything from step two, right click, run line or selection. And when you load that Y hat library, it brings up this yet another canonical correlation analysis web page. It gives you more information about the package, which is good to have, but we don't need it right now, so I'm going to close out of it. Now if we go to our R console, we can see all of the output that we generated with step two. So here we can see we have our beta weights 
for each predictor variable, our structure coefficients for each predictor variable, and then we have our commonality data presented in two different forms. We have our unique variance explained and then our common variance explained with various combinations. And then we have total unique variance for each variable and total common variance for each variable. And then of course total for each of the three variables. So now we can move to step three which will conduct an all possible subset analysis. This uses the leaps package so first thing we'll have to load that and then the next two lines of code will conduct the analysis for us. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight these three lines of code, right click, run line or selection, and here we can see we have an all possible subsets regression. So the first one is IV1 by itself and you can see the R squared associated with that. Then we have IV3 by itself, R squared, IV2 by itself, and then 1 and 2, and then 1 and 3, 2 and 3, and then of course the full model. Well that about does it for this video demonstration. Again, my name is Amanda. I'm from the University of North Texas COI Information Research and Analysis Lab. Um, you can visit us at our webpage. The address is www.coi.unt.edu slash IRA lab. On our webpage, you can find out more about us. You can see our hours, schedule an appointment to come talk to me about your research. Um, we have a couple of these demonstration videos on here under how to, as well as a whole host of both qualitative and quantitative research resources. So feel free to take advantage of that. And thanks again.